Good morning, everyone. Today is uh, uh, 8 July 2021, Thursday. And uh, very good morning to everyone. Hope we all see again after two weeks, last two weeks before. And uh, we are in the midst of getting uh, vaccination uh, faster. I tell you, yesterday they, they already reached the target 300,000 uh, uh, packs per day, you know. Oh, so, quite interesting. Okay. So, today our topic is actually I'm going to cover something about heart. Okay. Something about heart. And uh, let me share the screen. Okay, if the screen not move, please update me. Eh? Because sometimes I'm not sure why it's not moving. Okay, let me smaller this thing. Okay, today what we're going to, uh, our discussion is on the myths and fact of heart. Okay, myths and fact of heart. Little bit on the heart attacks, on the NGO stenting, all these kind of things, and our product, what is the best product to take, and how to protect your heart. Okay, small, uh, small and simple information for you to understand and take care of your heart. Okay, did the screen already change to the big screen? Yes, doc. Okay, so now did the screen is changing? Yes, not good. Okay. This is our normal heart. Okay. How is our heart look like? And uh, for iridology people, we can see superior vena cava. Okay. Our thick left, mitral valve, and the valve area, tricuspid valve, right ventricle, vena cava. Okay. This is basically our normal heart. Outer layer and inner layer. Okay. How it differentiated. It's very small. The size of your hand, uh, the, the, the hand, uh, you call it. Uh, okay, diseases of heart. What we can see, congenital is bis, uh, birth defect, valve diseases, uh, coronary heart disease, all these things is type of a uh, disease of heart. Actually, we have a lot, but we just cover these three things first. not moving okay so this is actually first things we have to see coronary heart disease plaque arteriochlorosis okay you can see the vessels coming out the artery lining blood vessel the interior part and there's artery lining so you can see below the yellowish actually is a plaque that start to accumulate in the uh, artery lining and slowly, this art, uh, in the artery lining, the plaque will be increased a bit by little bit. A bit and end of the day, it come out certain blockages. When certain blockages happen, then there will be a resistance of the blood flow happen. Once the resistance of the blood flow happen, there will be a blood clot happen. Once the blood clot happen, and you have a coronary artery disease. Okay, coronary heart disease. Okay, what is heart attack? Okay, when you see coronary heart become blocked, usually by a clot. First thing is like a plug that cover the area of your artery, the lining of the artery, and slowly will build up. This is normally is, is it can be a cholesterol, it can be a mineral deposits, mix with cholesterol and mineral deposit, and this kind of things is normally create a clot. So when this clot getting bigger and bigger, the heart, the blood flow on that area become very slow. <clears throat> when the blood flow is become slow down and narrow down, end up with a clot of the blood happen there. Then the behind blood that flow will be blocked and cannot pass through the area. So when this thing happen, the heart cannot do their work. When the heart cannot do their work, then you can say it's a heart attack start to begin. You can see the hand become numb, the chest pain, 
the, the tightness uh, on your neck area to the tongue area, uh, breathing difficulties, sweating, all these things is a sim small, small symptom about the heart. Okay, heart. So if the blockage continues, part of the heart muscle start to die. So the area that heart is pumping in Okay, if in the lower part, there's a one block in the artery lining and we see the blood is not flow into the lower portion and the lower portion not supplied with the oxygen and the nutrient to the cell that area. So the cell that area will start to die. When it start to die, the heart cannot start to pump up, pump. When it cannot pump, the blood cannot provide it, uh, transfer through your system. And oxygen coming from your lungs also affected. Uh, oxygen pumped towards the body also affected. Okay, all these things affected become the heart start to pain and you will have a breathing difficulty. So when the, when the pump is not working, when the pump is not working, there will be no flow coming back. That's why we will do a CPR to push the flow into the heart. Okay, so the CPR is what? When the heart cannot pump, because when the when the when the electrical function to pump the heart, when the heart start to beat, okay, when start when the heart start to beat, and you can see blood start to flow to the body, but when the heart cannot pump, so the the, the what do you call uh, uh, the the blood start to clot inside. So it will end up with the heart cannot pump oh. the blood. So when we do the CPR, we will push the blood towards the heart to pump it out to the body. When it starts to pump it out to the body, the blood starts to circulate back. That's why CPR is very, very important for nowadays. So everybody need to uh, uh, understand and go to the internet and see how to do CPR, basic CPR. At least you will understand the CPR part. Okay. Actually, we can learn from uh, YouTube, all these things. It's not a big joke, okay? It's very simple, okay? It's very simple. You go through a few times, you do some uh, simple activity yourself, okay, in the, in the house. Uh, then you can, uh, you can see, you will have the basic pattern of the uh, CPR. Okay? In YouTube lot, you can go to YouTube, you can use a pillow, then do the CPR with the pillow first, okay? Then in come to uh, emergency, uh, you know the technique. The, the important is the technique. Okay, once you know the technique, then automatically you can, uh, we, chances to recover the patient is very, very fast. Okay, so uh, coronary artery disease, normally we cannot have no symptoms. Huh? It suddenly attack engineer and it's a heart attack and sudden death. If you, if you needn't give a immediate response, it can lead to death, okay? So another one is myocardial infection of heart attack, okay? When you see uncomfortable pressure, fullness, squeezing pain, pain spreading to the shoulder, neck and arms, chest discomfort and light, headedness, anxiety, nervousness and sweating. So when you have these kinds of symptoms, so most of the time we have some symptom like hand become numb. Shoulder become pain. So always I tell people, if you have this kind of small, simple activity, uh, 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 what do you call symptoms, you clap your hand as much as possible. Try to clap as much as possible, as much, 100 claps, 200 claps, 300 claps, doesn't matter. Keep on clapping. Because when you keep on clapping, you are sending a pressure to the heart area. So the blood flow, you are increasing the blood flow in the heart area. So you won't stop. Okay, so clapping is one of the immediate things that you can do. Let's say while you are driving, when you drive, suddenly you feel something imbalanced. You, it, it will, you, you, can, you can see the symptom first. You can see it's something like not comfortable at all. So start to clap as much as possible. Okay, that is the one of the way. Okay, so some misconception uh, in the cardiac. Uh, Heart disease is caused by stress, worry, overwork. If you had a heart attack, you are bound to die or a heart attack, heart disease. Rest restores the heart. 
any incitement or shock could cause the heart attack. All these things is as a misconception. Okay. So you work hard, your stress, all these things is okay. But when you keep on stressing 24 by 7, it can weaken the heart. Okay. It not create a cardiac uh, arrest. So this is the things you need to understand. Some people will think that this kind of thing, stress will be will will, will make you uh, attack. So it's not like that. So this is some misconceptions. So don't worry. Okay, don't worry on that. Uh, changeable of risk factor, you can see hypertension, serum cholesterol, obesity, diabetes, physical inactivity, cigarette smoking, alcohol intake. This is the sum of the risk factors that can relate to heart attack. But you see, some people don't have all these kind of problems also, still they have a heart factors. Okay, maybe don't, they, don't have, they, they don't have enough uh, uh, exercise. Okay, they, they eat a lot, but not obesity. So there are a lot of other risks also we need to see in that picture. So don't put your risk, uh, oh, I got hypertension, sure, I'll get heart attack. It's not like that. Okay, so you must be very clear and take care of your heart properly. Okay, non -modifiable, modifiable risk factor, age, family history, gender. All these things also might be not correct. Sometimes they say family history, father die in heart attack, mother die in heart attack, children ask, brother die in heart attack, all these things is not. Sometimes you don't have any factors. Okay, Depend on individual factors, how you live, how you plan your daily life and how balance your body. That is the real factor that actually will lead you uh, to save from yourself, actually. Okay? It's not to say like your male got heart attack a lot, female got heart attack later. It's not like that. Nowadays, 22 years of child, uh, 24, 20 years plus kids also have heart attack. Okay, because they are never take their, taken care of their body. They eat too much of oily food and never eat, sleep properly. They're eating too much of uh, too many, too many uh, 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 hours of eating meat. Uh, so this kind of uh, food factors is uh, sometimes related into it. Okay, so how we can see, uh, I detect the heart attack. Normal ECG does not mean a normal heart. You must understand that. Huh? ECG cannot give you a clear pattern of a heart. Sometimes when you go to the heart, you pain, you see your ECG look normal. Sometimes after you got the attack, you feel pain. On that moment, you can see some imbalance. But after one week, you go and check again, your, it's, the ECG will show you a normal heart. So it's not a 100% con uh, consider if your ECG is bad, you, are, you got heart attack. Or if your ECG is normal, you got heart attack. You cannot say that. Okay, it's only a calculation or verification that uh, we can lead to further testing. Okay, but doesn't mean is that one clear? Everything is clear. No. Okay, ECG indicates the condition of the heart at time of the recording. That time, if you feel very uh, uh, what do you call uh, depressed, your heart reading will be different. Uh, at that time, when your anxiety is high, you worry a lot, your heart reading will be different. Some people will be very relaxed when they do ECG. Your heart go back to the normal condition, even though you had a block. So that's why ECG does not have any prognostic, uh, prognostic, uh, prognostic values. Okay? And we go on. Stress test. How we did work. Sometimes this stress test also, uh, you can be pass. You see footballers. Every day the footballer playing football, they sure pass the uh, stress test. But sometimes they fail. The heart is failed. So you cannot say, but let's say this month, first month, uh, without training, you're going to stress test, you fail. Then you come back home. You do everyday running, jogging, stressing, stress up, all these things. After three months, you go to the stress test. Okay, you pass the stress test. Doesn't mean you are okay. Doesn't mean you are okay. So 
when you come to stress test, it's just a valuable a verification that you're okay or not. But 100% cannot detect anything. Okay? So we carry on. Coronary angiography. This is almost you can get the reading. That's why angio will give you actual reading. Sometimes people go ECG, people go stress, all these things, wasting of money. They come and ask me, I said, better you just go to, just go and do one angiography to make sure what you have. Okay? So it's a mild risk, nothing to worry much. Per day, you just go do the thing and come back and you will get a picture, overall picture. How is your arteries going on? Okay, this is the uh, non risk, but only risk here because of the dye. If you have a kidney problem, then uh, taking uh, this uh, test is worse. But when you go CT coronary angiogram, this is much better. Nowadays, we have 3D uh, uh, design. It's much clearly can tell you what is going on to your heart. This is very reliable. Okay, how to prevent from coronary artery disease? A proper diet is very good. Okay, proper food, proper diet. In this manner, gonotherapy playing a big role. Okay, stress taken care. Gonotherapy playing a good re, uh, things under the stress balancing. Exercise every day, walking thirty minutes, clapping, tapping your body, clapping, tapping, walking. Okay, this will give you a very good uh, exercise and a heart related exercise. Okay, avoid smoking, avoid alcohol. Uh, these two things also will prevent you from uh, coronary artery disease. Why? Because the more you smoke, you are more consuming your uh, tar build up in your body. That this tar that building up in your arteries can lead to more. Uh, can uh, can lead uh, and help the plaque increasing, the size of the plaque increasing. Okay, When you take alcohol, what will happen to alcohol? The more you take the alcohol, your liver will be in balance. The more the liver in balance, your blood becomes more thicker and thicker. So this can lead to attack because when the block is 50%, when your heart is thicker, the heart cannot properly go through. Okay cannot run through or go through the uh, arteries. So this will slow down the uh, flow in the heart. This will lead to heart problem. Okay. Okay. And uh, diet and stress. What is the best for the in the gynotherapy? RGGL is the best uh, product that you can take it for the heart. Okay, it's proven in uh, uh, in uh, in Japan by Doctor Fuki uh, Fukuyama uh, Fukuyama Fukushima. I forgot already. Okay, he have been uh, using a Ganoderma uh, solution, adding into the system, and he can do. He is doing a, a direct uh, uh, scan of the heart. We can see the the plaque that build up in the arteries is slowly uh, breaking down. Using Ganodrama. This is this video you can get from the Google, uh, uh, YouTube. They're still available in YouTube. Okay. Second thing, uh, Cordipine, Morinji, and Fruit Gym is very good to build up uh, and cleanse the vessels or uh, arteries. Okay. Cordyceps cereal, Spirina cereal is much better because this is highly uh, fiber that can help your, uh, uh, what do you call, help your fiber higher. In a cordyceps and spirulina, we have a lot of spirulina. In cordyceps, we have cordyceps. Cordyceps also will strengthen your vessels, blood vessels. Okay, so rather than the blood vessel become thinner, okay, you see the artery uh, wall sometimes become thinning and thinning. So by taking all these uh, uh, cereals, it will standardize or strengthen the heart muscles and the vessels. Another case is Lingzi coffee. It will uh, it enhance the blood circulatory system in our body. Manaskas to remove the cholesterol from our body. Androgy to thinning the blood and also balance the sugar level in your, in your blood. So these two things 
this all this product helping your system blood circulatory system so whatever in your blood circulatory system toxic in your blood circulatory system very highly effective okay very highly effective by removing in from removing out from your body okay is highly effective that's why when you have like some kind of small chest pain or whatever you just take one rg one gl you take it out the capsule you just put the powder on your tongue okay sit down relaxly breathing relaxly and suck the rg and gl slowly repeat every 30 minutes one pair and slowly you can see the pain will dissolve okay and long time you can take cordypine morinzi and fruzine here i miss out uh, vinaigrette vinaigrette is a very powerful because monascus in a capsule format vinaigrette in a water based format okay other than this what you can take you can take black cumin okay black cumin is omega 369 that help your heart muscle to be softened when your heart muscle is soft softened the pump become very relaxed okay so that's why omega is very important to the heart area okay exercise on the coronary uh, valve disease and stress okay serves several function in preventing treating those in high risk reduce incidence of obesity okay when you have obese what will happen obesity people okay obesity people they are lack of blood supply so let's say your heart when you consider your bmi a normal bmi is around 6 trillion cells 6 to 7 trillion cells okay when when the heart need to supply the oxygen and nutrition to the 7 trillion cells okay so uh, what will happen the heart can supply for this kind of bmi but when your bmi is increased that heart have to work let's say your your bmi weight uh, for example is 50 kilo but because of obesity your bmi now 60 kilo the heart is only can work and supply for 50 kilo of weight but now your 60 kilo the heart need to work 10 to 20% extra to supply uh okay nutrition and oxygen extra 10 kilo cells so in long run the heart has a high risk on maintaining and supervising all the cell in your body okay that's why you must make yourself in a correct bmi mode when the correct bmi mode in your body is controlled their heart has a, a balanced Uh, supply to all your cells accordingly okay walking 30 minutes with every clapping every 40 step body tapping all these thing will give you a better exercise to your heart okay and swing hand there yeah? swinging hand swing up down up down like 200 times 300 times daily also giving you a very good exercise to the heart so you must understand what are the important uh, exercise to to the heart area that you going to give okay you no need to run 100 km you are pressuring your heart just do 30 minutes just do the correct one for 30 minutes it will give you very uh, uh, very good improvement to your heart okay cigarette smoking what will it cost okay increase in blood pressure why increase in blood pressure the component chemicals in the cigarettes can can adding in into the blood and become the blood flow the blood component become more uh, what do you call toxicated when it become more toxicated it, the weight of the blood sub blood is will increased so the in, the circulatory system become more slower okay so lowers the hdl okay cigarette smoking will lower the hdl because when your when your component like chemicals such as like uh, what do you call toxication chemicals plus uh, this uh, what do you call uh, tar that already add into your blood 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 cell so when you add in into the blood cell the blood cell become more weight when the when it more weight what will happen when it travel through your arteries 
the resistance of the traveling is become more uh, aggressive. So when the resistance of the blood is aggressive, okay, it will uh, reduce the HDL that support the uh, artery lining. Okay, HDL is the oil that support the artery lining, like an engine oil. When you have a good oil, it support the engine. So when the system work, it never, it will work smoothly without any resistance or collision between the components. So when HCL is low, high in your, our body, it means that our artery has been protected with the layer. So by taking smoking, by increasing smoking, this will end up thinning up your artery walls. Okay. Within one year cutting, uh, smoking, uh, coronary artery disease, a risk is can be decreases. Within two years, you can uh, reach into a non-smoker category. Okay. But not like you leave it, but you don't do anything. You must do something out first. Then you can see the differences. Okay. Okay. What alcohol will do? In small amount, it acts as a vasodilator. Okay. It vasodilator is like vessel uh, dilated dilation, but in large amount, it become a constrictor. It can constrict your vessels. Okay, add on to the calorie intake. So this is not good. But like people always say, a hey, small amount of uh, red wine is it good? Oh yes, it's good. But don't take one bottle one day, lah. Maybe like small amount of a day, 10 ml, 20 ml, you just take a sip. Okay, you, it's good for the body. But when you keep on taking one bottle, two bottle, whiskey, brandy, everything you wear, end up your vessels become constrict and it will very bad to your liver. Okay. So the good and bad effect of alcohol are divided in very fine line. Very fine line. So the good is very small only. The bad is very high. Even though there's a small good amount in that, but Balance your body with the alcohol consumption. Don't put too much. Okay. Okay. When it comes to treatment, gynotherapy instead of drug. By taking drugs, you can improve your system. No. Remember one thing always. Huh? Whatever pharmaceutical creates, it's all poisons. Remember that thing. Whatever pharmaceutical creates, it's all poison. I don't say you cannot take you take when necessary only. Okay, don't simply, Dr. Priska, you just swag. Don't do that. If you really need that drugs, you take it. But if you got alternative like gynotherapy, please use the gynotherapy method. It's 100 times, 1000 times safer than the drugs that you're taking. Okay, so there are a lot of alternative uh, uh, nature medication that can replace the drugs. So there, you can ask me later which one you can replace, you can replace. Okay. Angioplasty and stand, ad hoc basis. You cannot do, you simply go 90% block. Okay, ad hoc basis, just do it. Bypass, worst case scenario, just do the bypass. But why we are putting our life into this stand and art, uh, by, uh, bypass? So with the gynotherapy method, you can reverse your heart back to normal. Why you are putting all your uh, body into the risk factors that in the long run will damage um, other organs. Okay. This is the normal heart and artery and artery with plaque buildup. You can see the artery wall. Uh, okay. You can see the artery with the plaque, the heart, the blood start to uh, imbalance. Okay. The heart, uh, the blood flow is imbalanced end up with narrow routing. That means like three highway going back to one highway. So massive traffic jam will occur. Okay. Angioplasty. See, this is a clock arteries. So there's a balloon method and that is a standing method. Okay. This is the method they do. But you must remember, not all the area of the blood vessel can do all this method. Sometimes the small area, the blood, the, the angioplasty and stand cannot do. Okay. Because the the thing cannot go into that because it's very small vessel. A very small vessel block, block lah. So cannot do anything. Okay. So coronary bypass surgery is a very crucial surgery. Uh, it's very risky. Your open heart surgery. 
So you want to do open art also, you cannot do too much. You can do maximum quadruple, that means four pipes. Okay, if you do more than that, then the supply towards your heart from the aorta will be reduced. So this is not good in the long run. Okay. So you see how they do the bypass from the aorta, from the memory graft. Uh, so you can see which are the pattern they can do use it. Lah. But if you want to do too many, also cannot because it's very risky. Okay, then you can see when the operation time, so many doctors uh, will take care of your thing. It's not like a simple surgery. Uh, 16 hours, almost uh, 10 to 15 bags of blood needed uh, for transfusion, all this kind of thing. So it says you go through a massive damage in your body. Okay, it's like operating, taking out all the carbs, spare parts, and put it by put it back again. Okay, so this is how operating room and bypass time. Uh, Few doctors are in do inside there monitoring. It's not one person doing it. Eh? And this is the connecting pipes, all these things. Eh? Don't put your heart into this kind of risk. Lah. Okay. And now there's a robotic surgery also coming in. And conclusion, you can see coronary artery disease highest among uh, our Malaysian. It's highly preventable and controllable with diet and exercise. Okay, remember that it's highly preventable and controllable with diet and exercise. Okay, so when you do a lot of exercise, balance exercise, not like gila gila exercise. And nowadays people go gila gila exercise. Don't do that. Just do a balance exercise: swimming, swing, uh, swing your hand, clapping your hand, body tapping, or walk for half an hour, brisk walk. Okay. Eat less, uh, less oily food, eat more green fruits, and uh, taking a lot of uh, natural organic uh, supplements. These things can help your heart can live long. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So we go back to the screen. Okay. Any question and uh, for this kind of uh, heart th related things? And question and comments on these things. Okay. Before, before we start our yeah. yes, Lucas. Uh, can you talk more about angioplasty and stand? Okay, angioplasty, uh, and uh, angioplasty is the is the process. La. So you see, uh, when 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 the when the block is there, they will see whether the block is uh very high, need to put stand. If need to put stand, they need to put a stand. The stand like, a, like, like a, in, a, in a road, there's, there's a river, you, must do, you want to make a road, okay? But there's a river crossing. So you put a culvert, okay? You put a culvert there to make sure you put on top of it. So there's a ring, you see? So when you put the ring uh, culvert, then you put on road on top. So the water can flow through. So the road also can use the water also. It's like that. Stand is like that. The balloon is actually temporary. When the block is very mild and there's, there's a seal, a lot of space. So there's an immediate balloon. They put it. Once they put the balloon, you just open back the part. You let the part open. So when the part open, it not say it cannot close. It may be close another five years time down the road or 10 years down the road. Okay, it says opening. Let's say your, your, your river is narrowing down. Uh, you just core a bit. Lah. Core a bit. Uh, they make it a bigger a bit. That is like ballooning. Stand, uh, you put a ring there. So there will be a uh, coward. There will be a coward. So there's no more uh, blockage. No, no more narrow down happen in that area. These are the two different things. Okay. So it's actually mildly. It's a, if you ask me which one... Uh, Bypass is risk or stand, is I think stand is very fast, you can do. But when you see the cost, it's a bomb cost. La. <laughs> okay, it's a bomb cost. Okay, clear? Okay, thank you. Good. Thank you. Any other questions? If you already have your bypass, uh, should you continue to live the old lifestyle or change lifestyle? Uh, okay, when we have, uh, when, when, when you go through a bypass, uh, 
actually you must uh, control your food you must change your lifestyle lah. okay uh, bypass is very risk because for six months down the road after bypass you must take care of your body don't push too much uh, don't exercise too much but when you do stand it's nothing much lah. it doesn't matter okay but bypass you must be very careful and when you do bypass they remove some of the artery vessels uh, blood vessels from your leg so mean that you already remove some of the bigger pipe from your leg so it also cause some risk factor on the leg areas and uh, bypass when you bypass it, it it can last long for 10 15 years then sometime they need to bypass again and uh, some medication will given so you will see what kind of medication is re really needed but sometimes now we given uh, so much of medication it's not actually if you ask me it's not necessary too much you just take whatever is important enough ready okay that part maybe i can advise you la later part la okay clear clear now uh, so food wise when you have by after bypass um if you ask me becoming vegetarian much better la easy la but remove all the uh, reduce all the fried things la don't take the fried things la okay uh, oily food all these things avoid then you can see in the long run your heart will be more uh, measurement and every day do some walking la that's very important okay so this one question dr kalau yang ada masalah jangan sesuai tak ambil spirulina spirulina is nothing remember spirulina spirulina is a green vegetables okay if you don't take spirulina then you 100% cannot take any vegetables it's not good you can take uh, spirulina is much better than the other greens that can cause your uh, blood thicken spirulina is not not uh, greens that thickening your blood okay so you can take no issue actually okay it will help you uh, to create more new hemoglobin uh, new hemoglobin production and this lead to your blood become normal back again okay come back uh, any question on the heart if no means we can go to uh, some of the q and a ready uh dog ah. um for those who have a bypass mm. can they take our supplements it's, it's very good to take our supplement it's very very advisable because you see when they have bypass internal wound not healing uh, by giving them a gel rggl resilium cordypine spirulina all these kind of things morinzi this will heal the internal wound at the same time some people see when you bypass means that the old pipe is is already blocked and they create a bypass route they mean old road you close then the new road you created okay but keep on when you keep on taking our product the old block sometimes can be clear when the old block can clear that means you have two route ready so the blood can supply the a route also can work now b route also can work now that means your risk is much lesser that's why very highly advisable to take the product you can see lot of changes in our body in the heart area because i see i have lot of uh, case studies that i see uh, after taking the ganoderma for quite six months one year when they do the blood test they can see the heart c reactive protein become normal back uh, the other readings of the heart also become normal so there are a lot of changes we can see in the heart area then some patient that have heart block main artery block after they go take our product they went to ign and they have shocked and they call me and said their block is cleared that ig never believe but they can do anything it's cleared so old report shows there's a block but new report comes is no block okay. so this is a yeah. sometimes a confusion happen in the this thing but good for the patient nah. no need to go bypass okay but is such a such a such a, such a waste for the uh, medical industry la. they lost 100k la. <laughs> that's the only things so i have lot of uh, hard cases that i've written i've i've treated and uh, 
it's not like one today game. Eh? You must minimum take six, three months, six months, one year, keep on taking the product. Then you can see the lot of changes happen to your heart area. Okay. Okay, thank you, Doc. Okay. Any other things uh, before we go into the question answers? Uh, good morning, Doc. Hmm. Doc, hmm. I want to ask you uh, must we add Hong tea? Okay, uh, I forgot the Hong tea. Okay, Hong tea actually is very good in terms of uh, helping on removing plaques. Okay, helping on removing plaques. It's not only at the heart area, but I can say it's overall blood supply system in our body. Taking Hong Ti daily can lead to cleaner blood vessel system. Take Morin Z, like one week, two times or three times, one bottle uh, also can cleanse up your blood vessel in your body. So evening time, maybe after dinner, night before you sleep, okay, one hour after dinner, before you sleep one hour, you just shake one bottle, Morinzi, you drink. Like one week, you drink one bottle. Morinzi is very, very powerful in terms of cleansing your blood vessels. Remember that. It's very powerful. And also, it's a very good remover, a toxic remover in our body. Okay? Clear? Okay, Joe? Uh, look at me again. Uh, uh, this, uh, I have... Uh, Three friends who had undergone ballooning of the tree. Okay. What type of food they have? And take and what type of uh, okay. exercise they can. Okay, yeah. okay. When they go balloon, they just you just you see there's one uh, narrow down narrow down drain. You just clean it, make it bigger a bit. But you must remember, after three months or one year down the road, the drainage can be blocked again. Okay, can be blocked again. So you need to clean up again. So this is things they are doing now. To make sure you completely clean up the system, you can, uh, you can uh, re uh, recommend them taking uh, RGGL, uh, Hong tea, Hong tea capsule or powder, Manaskas, and Morinzi. These four items is very good. RGGL or Resilium, Morinzi, Monascus and Hong okay. okay. So, uh, okay, Lucas, you understand? Uh, one of the friends still smoking, you know, after having this ballooning of the one. Yeah, yeah. How to advise? Yeah. You see, yeah. Uh, if the smoker never have idea to stop there's nobody can stop them <laughs> you must remember that okay if they don't have idea that they want to stop i tell you god come down and tell them also if they want to stop one they must change okay nobody can change them okay but in our side what we can help them by giving this product let's say just now i told you hong tea monascus rggl or resilium or, or or this uh, Morinzi, this will help, okay, improving the heart and also removing the toxic from the smoking that adding into this blood system. Lah. At least we can help on that. But if you okay. if we don't want to stop, nobody can can can, can uh, argue with him, correct or not? <laughs> okay, Thanks. he need to understand yeah. that. This will cause the problem, but he must understand that lah. Okay, as a friend, okay, we only can you. tell not good, but he always smoking one. You can't change him, okay, unless he's him. But we can help him by giving the product to help him. In case the risk factor, risk factor, we can reduce it as much as minimum, okay, for himself lah. That's the best you can do lah. Okay. Good. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Proceed, Doc. Okay. Carry on to the next question. Okay, so here we have if have skin dry problem, 
especially on both hand, dry till crack and till times painful. What the XM product can help? What usually cause this happen? Okay. When your skin have problem, okay, remember always your collagen in your body is lacking. Okay, your collagen in your body is lacking. So what are the product can balance back the collagen? Pearl powder, vitamin C, roselle or roselle juice or roselle tablet or roselle powder. Okay, GL, okay, will help on that. And enzymes, enzymes such as fruitzyme, morenzyme, cordypine. These things will help you to restore back the uh, skin to normal. And for external use, you can use Gano soap, our aloe vera lotion, and also Gano oil. Okay, these things will help you to reduce the dryness and slowly your skin will regenerate back. Okay, you need to give internal and external to regenerate back the skin uh, dryness and the problem lah. Okay. So the next one, what I can take for vertigo and ringing ears. Ringing ears is due to some of the uh, water supply to the kidney is low down. So your kidney cannot do a proper water cleansing. The filter is not very good. So in that case, you can use resilium, cordypine, and enzyme, morenzyme, okay? Mix and drink. Then you take some spirulina. Then you can see some uh, the, the vertigo will uh, reduce. And for your ear, ringing ear, you also can put one drop of gano oil one week once. This will soften down your uh, inner drum of your uh, ear. So your inner drum, the dryness will be reduced. Okay. So the next question. Kalau yang ada masalah jantung, sesuai. Okay, this one you already answered. Uh, you can take uh, spirulina. It's very good. Spirulina is very good for the heart and overall nutrition to the body system. Okay, spirulina is the highest nutrition. Okay, nutrition that supply almost 400 type of nutrition from seven category, such as, remember that, uh, minerals, vitamin, amino acid, uh, natural carotenoids, natural pigments, micronutrient, macronutrient. So we have seven type of nutrient contents in spirulina that can spell through all our body system and cells and every angle of our body to supply essential vitamins and minerals to the body system to work. Okay, remember that spirulina is very powerful. Okay. The next question, doctor, for example, there is a vegetarian person whose blood test result good, but his BP is 160-90 or 150-80. How do we control it and bring immediate effect as a gynotherapist if immediate effect? Okay. If you see 160-90, 150-80, nothing wrong. Okay. He's in a good shape. Okay. So the 160, the front one, you see 160, 150. The second one, all below 90. is perfectly fine, but mildly upset. Okay, mindly upset. Ask him to do a lot of back uh, sunyata therapy or back, count, back, back counting, walking every day 30 minutes, the, uh, clapping, relax the mind, clear the mind, remove all the obstacle in the mind. Okay, make your mind more relaxed and comfort zone. Then you can see the pressure will come down normally. The front reading always your mind issue. Balance your mind, increase your oxygen, improve your circularity system, and physically, mentally, mindly, you become more better. Automatically, the things will come down to normal. Okay. To support that, you can take RGGL, uh, Morinzyme, Cordypine, uh, Black Cumin. All these things will help you. Spirulina all help uh, will help you on this on, on this process. Okay. This is the repeated question. Two times they put. Uh, okay. How many times they use the repeated question? Uh? Okay. The saya makan juice rosel spirina powder gel powder kenapa kuat pening kuat muntah boleh bagi pencerahan sikit. Okay. Rosel juice spirina powder gel powder. Okay. 
see sometimes you see uh, when you take too much of spirulina also you 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 i suspect the spirulina taste is own digested okay spirulina sometimes uh, it has a chlorophyll so sometimes when you eat too much okay you will have some kinds of a bloatedness because it's a highly nutrition contains okay so reduce the spirulina content okay gel powder no issue one bottle one day also no problem but spirulina when you take too much you will have some bloated because it's a nutritional contain it's sometimes it hurt your stomach to digest it because it's highly alkaline it's a highly alkaline when you take too much it sometimes it 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 totally alkaline your blood your stomach acid so when totally alkaline your stomach acid the bloatedness can come out then this can lead your uh what you call uh, can lead to uh vomit so take in a small amount that's why i always say it, go for uh, uh if spirulina powder go for half scoop or one quarter scoop each time break it into a several phase don't take one time too much and take sometimes it have a high digestion issue sometimes you remember when you take too much of your veggie let's say you take too much veggie green veggie too much it will stomach upset because too much of greens can or can fully uh, neutralize your uh, alkalizing your stomach acid so the stomach acid cannot digest cannot lead to digestion so you need a balanced diet not too much of alkaline okay this is maybe due to that so you reduce your spirulina powder okay gel powder no problem rosel juice no problem and uh, break it into small portion and eat so a few times then should be okay okay kalau mengalami pendarahan head yang sanya sangat berpanjangan kurang dari 13 hari saya mengalami pitam uh, okay remember for ladies if you have overflow more than 7 days okay more than 7 days immediately take 500 ml of warm water 20 ml of uh, morinzyme one scoop of gel powder one to two scoop of gel powder shake it drink one bottle in the morning one bottle in the evening one bottle in the night so 1.5 liter little bit little bit little bit little bit you drink this will slowly will stop your period okay bleeding will stop at the same time these three item that you mix water morinzyme and gel powder will help your hemoglobin to produce and your blood hemoglobin will go back to normal condition okay so you will stop uh, uh you will stop your pining pining all this pitam pitam all your headache everything will stop because why this thing happened because the blood drop okay okay so that is a important part on that uh, area any other questions uh, selina no doc okay good so we open in that case we open to the floor now already 9 10 o'clock we open to the floor then we can Hello, close doctor. up the yeah okay amar if you doctor yes amar okay doctor i when i see my patient one of my patient right so what happened uh, she having the what happened uh, how do you say uh, her hair fall yeah uh, hair fall is coming down a lot So I told her to put Gano oil, put her finger, wrap at the hair, wait for thirty minutes. Use Gano Gano Z shampoo and use and wash. Mm. So she tried there. But what happened when she tried that? The upper part of the forehead and all, the head and all, even the eyes went punka. You do the balay la. You must do the shampoo, massage using the shampoo first. Okay. okay. After thirty minutes, clean up all the hair. once okay. you clean up you can see the hair become very dry then you okay. use the gano oil massage the mas now massage the scalp area just okay. gently massage the scalp area so all the scalp area will be uh, get will get the gano oil okay? okay then for the hair you can use gano oil also or you can use chabi oil chabi oil is like a uh, uh it's like conditioner Okay, yeah. it's like a conditioner. So use this. Don't put the Gano oil. You put shampoo and what's the purpose of Gano oil? <laughs> Gano oil to moisturize the spot in the head. 
So then only yeah. it will come out. So you already giving the balay. So you correctly, correctly give. Why okay. oh, a swelling happen? Huh? Because you already clean up everything. Then no more. It's dry ready. After dry, uh, then uh, okay, then okay, swelling okay, happen correct. la. You yeah, must yeah, clean it. Then you moisturize. Okay. So using shampoo first. Okay, then clean it. Oil. Clean it. Dry the hair. Then put gano oil and chabi oh, oil. Right. Okay. Thank you, doctor. Good. Okay, next. Injection. Uh, top, Any other you can move. You can move to your uh, vaccination uh, topic information. For the vaccination topic, I think I can stop the recording, lah. <laughs> yes.